Hi, Raven here. Just before we get started, if you find this video useful or you just enjoyed watching, then please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel. And if you wish to support me further, there's a link to my Buy Me A Coffee page in the description. Thanks very much. Now back to it. I've done a few videos where I've mentioned grid references, so I thought it might be a good idea to create a tutorial on how to actually read them. So this will be useful for newcomers to Armour, uh, especially if you want to get into Milsim. But it's also quite useful if you want to create missions where you want to find hidden caches or a search and rescue mission. Right, there's two important things you need to remember when reading grid coordinates. The first is the order in which you read them. So we always take the reading from across the map first and then we take the reading from up the map. So there's a well-known phrase to help you remember this, and the phrase goes along the corridor, up the stairs. So we take the reading from along the corridor, and then we take a reading from up the stairs. The second important thing you need to remember, the grid coordinate is the point at the bottom left corner of that grid. So if we wanted to use this grid here with the mine in it as our example, our grid reference would be this bottom left corner here. Now as I'm in the editor and not in the actual game, the grid reference is down here in the, the bottom left corner, X and Y. So X is across, Y is up. So if we hover over that corner, you can see it's 18 by 14. Now, Armour has two levels of grid accuracy. So we've got this one here, which is one kilometer square. So one kilometer is given out as a four digit grid reference. And if we zoom in, you can see we've got another smaller square here, and that is a 100 meter square grid reference. And that is given as a six digit grid reference. I've hidden a cache here, you can see it there. Now if we were to say to someone, go and find the mine at grid reference 1814, they'd be able to find it pretty easily. If you said, go and find the hidden weapon cache at grid 1814, that's that whole square there. Let me show you what it looks like. So get a trigger. Probably the easiest way to show you. Look at that. Let's cover that. So that's our one kilometer square. And if we zoom out, you can see that that's where you've got to search for the hidden cache. Now, if we did 100 by 100, which is a six figure. I'm going to map. You can see you've only got that to look for. It's a lot smaller. Now, if we did eight, if I just get rid of that, and what I'm going to do here. Um, obviously you wouldn't have this in game, it's just I can show you it in game. I'm just going to put a marker down, copy them coordinates, uh, I need that. So it's on top of it, okay, and then we're going to give it the, so our Eight figure reference will be one eight four two one four two three. So we'll be able to see that in game. Obviously, you won't have this when you're giving someone instructions, so I can show you how to actually um, read it in game. It will make sense when we get in there. So let's play the scenario. 
Okay, so press the map. We'll change the map type. Double click on the compass, it makes it larger. And then we'll just zoom in. So we know it's there, but if we didn't know it was there and someone just give us those grid coordinates, you can see I'm zoomed in now. So I've got 184, 142. So that's this corner here. So that's this whole box. But we want to do a 10 meter square box here. So what we do, zoom in until you can't zoom in anymore. And we need to rotate this compass so that that edge is parallel with the grid edge. So we just come out the map, rotate our guy. And we just keep doing that. In fact, I'll zoom out until I get it square because it's a lot easier. Not too far. Nearly there. So there you go, it's straight. So now we'll zoom in. So we know that our 8 grid reference number that we've been given, so this might have been given to us, is 1842. So we need 2 extra. So what I've done here, this like little ruler on the compass is absolutely useless, apart from I've worked out that from that digit there, to that digit there is 10 meters. So what I'm going to do is hold control down, make sure I've got dot selected at the top there, hold control down and drag a line up. Move it over, hold control, drag a line. Drag, there we go. So if we zoom out, you can see there 14184. So that's 1841, 1842. Now we'll do it the other way around. So we need to rotate our guy 90 degrees, roughly, a bit more, a tiny bit more, and I've gone too far. Okay, that'll do. So what we'll do is we'll line it at the bottom of the grid and we'll take our reading from there and again from there oh I didn't zoom in I, I didn't think that looked right so there you go you need to make sure you zoom in Didn't mark it then. There we go. I'm just doing it really quickly, just so you get the idea of it. So now, if I just draw the boxes, so you see my little cursor here has got a crosshair that goes all the way to left, all the way to right up and down so that way I can easily align it so I'm aligning this line with this line here with my cross and I'm just drawing a line across to that line there and I'm going to do the same from that corner going up to that one and across and down so there is my eight digit grid reference 10 meter square so 184 1 2 142 1421 142 2 142 3 exactly where it should be so that is how you do a, an 8 digit grid reference so a bit of practice uh, you'll get really quick at it with the the drawing the lines on Alright, I hope that was helpful. Good luck.